Hey, what is going on guys? Jack here, or Eccentric Emerald, and welcome back to another Minecraft video, where today I'm actually going to be talking about horses. And uh, I know what you're thinking, horses have been in the game for absolutely ages, why would you need to explain them? Well, for some new players, horses can be quite confusing, because I know when I first started playing the game, I was really confused by horses and how to actually tame them and breed them. So today that's what I'm going to be teaching you how to do, how to breed and tame horses. So... Over here we have some prime, prime examples of horses, so basically the first thing you're going to need to actually uh, tame the horses is the horse itself. So um, if we go over here and we simply right click on this horse, we will get onto the horse, we will kick us off straight away because that's how you actually tame them. So basically, when you get on, you will get kicked off the horse, obviously. Um, so I'm actually going to, hold on, I have to get him out of here for a second. Um, let me just, uh, I want to get a lead or something in a sec, hold up. Okay, so if we push him out here and we get into the open space and if you right click on him, you will get on the horse, right? So, now I'm on the horse, but he look- oh, he just tamed, okay. Um, so basically, when he tames, he will give you this little inventory. That's how you know he's tamed, and uh, there'll be a saddle slot and an armor slot. So, that's when you know your horse is actually tamed, he won't kick you off anymore, and you can now control him with a saddle. Um, so, when you are first doing it though, you basically- how you tame it is you have to actually like, face where the horse is facing. So like, you have to- whichever way he turns, you have to turn to with your character. So you see how I'm turning my head, whichever way the horse is going? That's the strategy to do it. So you have to turn your head wherever he's turning, and uh, eventually, if you just keep right clicking him, eventually he will tame, and that is how you do it, basically. So, for some horses, it's a lot harder than others, uh, but mostly, it's it's a pretty simple concept. Um, so basically, you just keep doing it, you keep following his head wherever he goes, until he will eventually tame. And there we go, you get the hard particles, and then you know he's tamed. And uh, that's basically how you tame a horse, and uh, the same thing goes for donkeys and mules over there. And uh, I'm gonna actually block this guy back in for a second, and um, okay. So, uh, when you have your horse tamed, like that guy over there, you can literally grab a saddle and a lead, and if you want horse armor, horse armor is uh, an optional thing, and um, you can get iron horse armor, gold horse armor, or diamond horse armor, they can all be found in mob chests underground, and in dungeons and such, so, when you have your horse like this, you can shift right click, and, uh, or just regular right click I guess if you really want, uh, if you right click him with a saddle, this inventory will open up, if you right click him with a free hand, you'll get onto him, and um, so yeah, if you want to just open his thing, you can just shift and right click with an empty hand, and uh, you can open his little inventory, and then you can put the saddle into the saddle slot, and now he will have a saddle on him, and he looks pretty cool, and um, so now if you hop on him, you can actually steer where he's going by uh, pointing your cursor whichever way you want to go, and then you use the WASD keys like you normally do in Minecraft to actually move him around uh, like normal, and uh, you can just literally strafe and all that good stuff. It's pretty good. And if you press spacebar, he will actually jump. Now horses have different statistics, so you can actually go onto like the Minecraft website or whatever and find the statistics about horses and how good are they, how good they are and not, and how bad they are and such. Uh, there's plenty of tools to actually use um, to actually check how what kind of statistics the horse has, like how fast it is, how much health it has, uh, how tough it is how high can it jump you know they all have a bunch of statistics they can random they can be randomized uh, varying on each type of horse and each color and um, so yeah that's pretty much the horse and uh it is a very nice mob in minecraft i gotta say it was a great addition when it came 1.6 and of course you can get your whoops uh you can get your horse armor and you can uh, pop this on this guy here and you can just put in the iron one and he looks like that and if you take off the iron or, whoops um if you take off the iron armor you can put on gold and uh, the same thing with diamond of course and diamond is of course the best, it gives them the most protection and they will take a lot less damage when they have the diamond armor on, so that is really good. Now I'm going to show you how to breed the horses, okay, so now we've tamed one, we can show you how to breed the horses. Uh, but first I'm actually going to show you a cool thing with donkeys, um, a lot of people don't know how to do this, but if you get a chest and go over to a donkey that's tamed, I have to tame him first of course, so let's just hop on this donkey here. Donkeys are a lot harder to, harder to tame than horses I've noticed, um, I don't know if it's just a, a random thing, but um. Yeah, for some reason, donkeys are a lot harder to tame. I don't know why. Okay, I think this one's tamed already, is he? Uh, no, he's not actually. He's just, he's just not tamed. Why? Dude, come on. There we go, finally. Oh my god, I was trying to tame this thing for like half an hour. Okay, anyway, so basically when you tame a donkey, um, you can literally, if you uh, shift right click on him with an open hand, you can see there's one slot for a saddle, right? But, a lot of people don't know this. If you shift right click a donkey with a chest... Oops. Wait, how... Oh, never mind, you don't shift right click, you just right click normally, okay. With a chest, he will now have an inventory, a full inventory where you can put stuff in and uh, have like transport, which is really, really cool. A lot of people don't know that, but um, it's a really nifty feature actually. You can have like your stuff stored in here, and uh, it can be riding around your donkey with all your stuff in it. So um, if we hop on this guy here, you can open this while you're riding him, and you can have all your stuff stored inside. So you have basically like, how much is this? this is uh, 15 extra inventory slots, which is really, really good actually. It's really, really good. And um, I can see it's, it's definitely worth doing. I've done it in survival before. It's actually really useful, to be honest. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's enough of that out of the way. So 
Uh, onto breeding, right, so when you actually have horses like this, you can breed them using a golden carrot. This is the only way to actually breed horses. You can feed them these to heal them faster. They will f they will heal naturally over time, of course. They're one of the few mobs that actually does heal naturally. Um, but if you feed them uh, carrots, they will not actually breed. Uh, you would think horses would breed because of carrots, right? But no, they actually don't. Um, you have to use golden carrots to actually breed these guys. So if you... Okay, I fed him. <laughs> And I fed that one too. So now they're breeding and they will make a baby horse. And um, so yeah, there we go. That is a new baby horse. And uh, of course you can actually grow these guys up really fast using either wheat, carrots, or I think golden carrots work too. Yeah, golden carrots work too. So you'll know it's eating it if it opens its mouth and you can hear a little like crunching sound and um, whenever you're feeding it. And um, so the fastest way to actually grow these guys up is by getting hay bales. And to make a hay bale, it's literally just, um, what's it called it? nine uh, wheat in a crafting grid like this, you know, this is your crafting grid here, use nine of them like this and that'll give you one hay bale. And um, if you feed the baby horse, like I think four or five hay bales, it grows up like instantly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six hay bales and it'll grow up just like that. That's really, really fast. The rest of the things, it could take like two sacks of carrots to grow up a horse because they are not the best. And the same with wheat and golden carrots, they don't really do that much. But um. Hay bales are really, really good to be honest. They will grow up the horse like instantly, so it's definitely worth making the hay bales, in my opinion. And um, so yeah, anyway, moving on. Okay, so to actually breed um, a donkey and horse, or just two horses, you have to have them actually tamed first. I'm, I'm so silly. I am. Um, I actually forgot about that rule that you have to have both things tamed and then you can actually feed them the golden carrot and they will then breed. So as you can see, we just right click both of those and now they will make a mule. And the mule is a crossbreed between horse and donkey, of course. And um, yeah, the mule cannot be bred with another uh, horse or donkey or another mule. So mules cannot reproduce basically is what I'm trying to say here. They're the only um, horse uh, type of animal that cannot breed or reproduce. So that's their final form basically. That's as far as they can go. And um, so yeah, you can breed two horses, you can breed two donkeys, and you can breed a donkey and a, a horse, but you cannot breed a mule with anything else. So that's it, that's all you get. So yeah, that's pretty much how you actually tame mobs, or not mobs, tame horses and donkeys and mules in Minecraft. The same thing with the, with the mule, the tame, same way to, to tame it, you can literally hop on it, and um, I believe mules also allow you to place a chest on them. Uh, you know, like the same way the horse or the donkey has a saddle with the, with the chest. I think you can do the same thing with a mule. So let's just test it out here for a second. This guy should tame pretty soon, I think. Because um, mules tame slightly easier than donkeys because they have part horse, and horses are easier to tame. So that would just make sense. Um, can you please tame, though? Uh, I'm trying to get... No! Stop! Okay, come on. There we go. So let's put the saddle on him. And now if we right-click him with a chest... Yeah, he can put the thing on too. So, um, yeah, horses are the only ones that can have horse armor, of course. And donkeys and mules can have saddlebags, like the chest on the side. So it gives them the extra 15 uh, inventory slots. So that is really cool. So, yeah, that's basically how you tame and breed horses in Minecraft. I hope I was of some use to you. If you want to go test it out for yourself, do make sure to crack open your Minecraft and just you know, start breeding horses and stuff. Who knows? Whatever you want to do, just set up a survival world and start getting horses. Off you go. Anyway, that's pretty much going to do with this one, guys. Hope you did enjoy. If you did enjoy, make sure to go like and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And uh, let me know that you like this type of video. And if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, because I know that some people do enjoy them and um, they are very useful in some cases, then uh, do make sure to let me know. And I will, of course, make more tutorials. And if you have any questions about anything else, do make sure to ask me and I'll make a tutorial video on it. It'll, it'll be my pleasure, honestly, because I just love making videos and stuff like this. So anyway, thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.